This is tape recording number 8103C10 entitled Introduction to the Happiness Rundown Auditor Course. A briefing by Senior CS International to Happiness Rundown trainees at the American St. Hill Organization on the 10th of March, 1981. Copyright 1981. All world performance rights reserved. This tape is 12 minutes long. Reproduced by the Audio Production Division of Golden Era Studios. And now, the Senior CS International. Okay, good afternoon. Hi, how are you, sir? Now, the purpose of this talk is, first of all, to welcome you here for the initial HRD, or Happiness Rundown, training, and also to give you a little bit of a briefing about what we're going to be doing on the courses and internships. How many of you here are auditor trainees? Very good. And how many are training as auditors and CSs? Good. All right. Now, first of all, uh, you've probably read these various success stories and so on that have been distributed, have you? Yes. You have some idea of the results that have been gotten on the happiness rundown. Well, I want to give you some idea of what went on during the pilot. During the pilot auditing on the happiness rundown, the first thing that was most noticeable was the immediate changes in the PC's life as a result of being audited on the rundown. You're all very familiar with auditing people and you know how PCs often cognite in sessions on things and sometimes they translate it into a change in their life and sometimes they have to have a lot more cognitions before they do. On the happiness rundown, I was particularly impressed with how fast PCs changed in their actual doingness in life as a result of the rundown, which shows that it's very effective auditing. Now, the other thing that was very noticeable was, and I'm going to be telling it straight to you guys here, is that very well experienced auditors, and when I say very well experienced, I mean real professional auditors, did very, very well on the rundown. Read it, drill it, do it auditors, and some old timers and quite inexperienced auditors also did very, very well on auditing the rundown. There was a middle ground of around class four, class six, and around there, where we had some people who did absolutely shockingly bad. And the reason or what they did bad was they broke the auditor's code, q and a with PCs in session, misused acknowledgements, mishandled originations, things that are covered under basic auditing. And that's the reason why there is such an emphasis in the Happiness Rundown Auditor course on basics of auditing. Now, I presume that based on what we've seen so far in auditors auditing the rundown and the various errors that can be made, that not necessarily you individually, but say a majority of the students here might fall into the same errors if they didn't go over the materials very thoroughly. So the idea is that we have a very thorough coverage of the basics of auditing early in the check sheet so that uh, class fours and sixes won't embarrass themselves when they come to the internship. <laughs> now I know that you're all very familiar with the auditor's code already and that you know all about the basics of auditing and what Q&A is and so on. However, I don't want to see anybody quicking or skipping any materials on this basic auditing section of the check sheet, or any other section for that matter. I want you to study very thoroughly on what basic auditing is, because it is very, very important to the happiness rundown. Now, in HCOB, have you people read HCOB 24 November 80 yet? Some have. Majority of you haven't. The first happiness rundown bulletin is HCOB 24 November 80 called The Happiness Rundown by Oron Hubbard. And one of the paragraphs in here is, although the rundown is handling very hot charge, it runs very lightly and smoothly. And it does handle very hot charge, and provided the auditor's basics are in, it runs very lightly and smoothly. If you Q&A on it, or if you go off and do something else, then you can re-stimulate and bypass the charge that it's handling. 
So this is why we're putting quite a lot of emphasis on this basic auditing. An amusing thing happened, in a way. Uh, many of the errors repeated by various auditors during this pilot. And actually, some of the materials were written up some time ago on the subject of auditors Q&Aing and making comm cycle errors. And then I noticed later that when somebody was reading one of these issues, they thought that the errors were written about, you know, part of the bulletin was written about them. <laughs> and it's amusing in a way because it wasn't. It was written before the errors that uh, that person made. It's just that they repeated them. So anyway, we don't want to see any more q and or eval or inval or anything like that, right? Give you an example. Uh, one PC made a statement that the auditor didn't like. And um, <laughs> although we're dealing with the subject of morals here, you all know that it's not the auditor's job to try to make or enforce his own idea of morality on the PC. And anyway, the PC made a statement that the auditor thought was uh, quite gross and disgusting and immoral. <laughs> And um, so they worked the PC over again on that subject, you know, to make sure that the PC did straighten up. Of course, that's a code break, right? And it looks all very innocuous and so on. And it's all explained as to why it was a good thing and why it was necessary and they didn't want the person to get through with this, uh, still with this idea. But it's a code break. So anyway, we're going to be very, very fussy about the subject of basic auditing and adherence to the auditor's code. It's quite prevalent that uh, the need for getting basics in, in auditing and CSing is very prevalent today. It isn't just related to the happiness rundown. And that brings me to the next point here, which is that you people are here to train on the happiness rundown and release it to the world, which is an important task. You also have another function, and you're being trained to do another thing at the same time, which is to get auditing basics in. Now, you've all, I'm sure, read TRs Remodernized, where it is stated in there how TRs and communication cycle are the basic backbone of all auditing. Are you familiar with that? Yes. Now, if when you go back to your orgs, if you not only export the happiness rundown, but if you also raise the standard of auditing amongst the auditors and CSs in your org to the same level on the basics of auditing, then we will have a very, very increased effectiveness of auditing going on in your org. So you're here for two reasons. One is to get your own basics in and so well in that you'll be able to get the basics of auditing in when you return home in other areas of your org, other parts of your HGC, and also so that you can export the happiness rundown. Right? And there's a famous query posted on the student notice board in there about whether you should do the materials or not on the check sheet. And I think the reply and so on answered that. So, does anybody have any questions about what they're going to be doing here or what they're going to be doing when they go home? Well, that's good. And uh, I'll read you another section here. This is from this is from HCOB 14th of February 81 on the happiness rundown. Based on the earliest cases completed on the HRD, there is no fading of the initial glow on completing the HRD. Not only was there no fade, but those persons report an increase or expansion of their gains following the HRD. The result promises not only to be stable, but to actually get better as the person goes on in life applying the principles learned. Due to the immense popularity of the HRD amongst the PCs, auditors and others in contact with it, the demand for the HRD can be expected to be very high, and it can be expected to accelerate in each area where it's delivered. So note those of you who are coming from areas or from orgs where you have one auditor or CS going back that you're going to have to work pretty hard 
pretty fast when you get back on getting others trained up. The combination of the booklet, the way to happiness, and the availability of the happiness rundown are a boon to FSMs and distribution divisions. The goal for mankind and this planet of a world without war, insanity or criminality, and happiness for all is now much closer. Elron Hubbard founder. So, to sum up, what I want you people to do is to learn your basics very, very well and to learn how to get them in on others very well. Learn your happiness rundown materials well. Uh, when you get onto your internship, audit flat out on it. Issues like uh, see a series 52 on the subject of interns will of course be fully in application. In other words, you'll move in and start auditing flat out. I would imagine probably a few hundred hours a week when you're on your internship. <laughs> Cumulative. <laughs> anyway, we don't have a, a stated number of hours on the internship of how many hours you're going to do, but of course we'd expect you to do around about 40 or 50 hours. And the faster you do it, the better. And you'll be taping your sessions, as you know, and, and in some cases, depending on the video equipment, videoing sessions and getting your sessions approved as to the excellence of your TRs and basic auditing, and so on. So, the world's waiting for you. I hope that you'll be graduating within four weeks. And not as uh, having rushed through the course, but as professional auditors and CSs. The word professional is going to be stressed quite often from now on through the course. Okay? Yes, okay, we'll go to it. Thank you.